What is going on everyone? Today we are going to break down how exactly rates will work in Ashes of Creation, from loot to group sizes and more. Raiding is the pinnacle experience for an MMORPG. At least it was before node sieges, castle sieges, and all of that, but they will still play a huge part in gearing up your character to get into the fight. And like Dungeons in Ashes of Creation, raids will be a bit different than the instance raiding you've come to expect. Like I've said before, 80% of dungeons and raids in Ashes will be open world, while 20% be narrative-driven dungeons and raids that are instanced, allowing for the game to maintain that open world feel while also putting a bit more pressure to complete a raid as they will allow PvP flagging systems within that raid. What raids are available and when will be based off the nodes that are developed and the content completed on each server. This includes things like change in difficulty of a raid, different content altogether, different boss fights, different trash mobs, and different loot. This system will also be tied to seasons as a raid content can change based on what season that area of the world is in. You can expect traditional boss fights you've come to know and love with multiple phases, ads that need to be killed to get to the boss, and fights that require you to plan accordingly as your location and mobility will play a big part. There will be 12 to 15 raid bosses in the world at any given time. These guys will come in all shapes and sizes, some being story driven while others just out there carrying some good loot. And some come in much harder difficulty than others. Some bosses being so hard in fact that it is expected that it only a single digit percentage of the population may be able to actually defeat them. But don't let this scare you because there will be bosses out there tied to all types of players, some that want this extreme challenge and others that appeal to the more casual player that don't have this time. The difficulty of raids will also adapt to the raid group's performance on the previous bosses within an encounter. So the higher you perform in the earlier phases, the more difficult it will be in the end phases, and the higher difficulty dropping better loot for you. But the difficulty will not scale based on group sizes. For those of you who want more competition in raiding, there will be metrics tracked for achievements, titles, and more, and a trophy park in stage 4 or higher nodes that will showcase those who complete the world bosses and dungeons first in correlation to that node. As for how loot works, well Ashes intends to stick with the basics on the loot rules which can be selected by the party leader. There will be Master Looter that allows a player to designate how loot is distributed, Round Robin which allows players to take turns looting, and Need Before Greed which is based off dice rolls and the higher role player who needs it will get the loot. And lastly, Intrepid is also looking into a bidding system that would allow players to bid on an item. The highest bidder would obviously win, and the gold that they spent would be split among the party members. But this idea is not finalized yet and may not actually make it into the final game. If you are in a competition from other raid groups when going to complete a boss, well, there will be some rules behind loot tagging. The first to obtain a tag on a mob will require at least 40% of the total DPS to be granted looting rights and those who are fighting the boss and do not have the first tag will need to do 60% of the damage to obtain the looting rights. As for raid sizes, well, you can expect dungeons and raids for 8 players, which is the normal group size, 16 players, and 40 players, depending on what content you are trying to go after. What are your thoughts on raiding in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you are interested in Ashes at all, and have yet to make an account but want to jump in on the forums or purchase some cosmetic packs, well, feel free free to sign up using my referral link in the description below, otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.